We're at Superdog. That's Yes Factory in the car. Yo, hey. Hey. Hi, guys. Uh, the best message I got today was, oh, we're bringing instruments, by the way. I, I didn't even <laughs> think to ask if you'd be willing to play, but you brought gear. You're like, you're going to play songs in the car in the Superdog parking lot. Yeah. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. All right, before we begin, and we've got food to order, we, we have a whole agenda here, Yes Factory. Uh, Carcon Carne is sponsored this episode by C&H Financial Services. Business owners, if you're tired of your hard-earned profits going toward paying expensive fees every time your customer pays with a credit or debit card, I'm happy to announce our partners at CNH Financial Services has the solution. CNH is the fastest growing financial services company in Illinois, as recognized by Inc. Magazine, and their patented technology allows you to eliminate 100% of the fees associated with accepting credit and debit cards as a form of payment. That's right, Yes Factory, 100% of the fees. Wow. Where do I sign up? 100%. <laughs> We're already members. <clears throat> CNH will also upgrade your business to the industry's leading point of sale system to streamline every aspect of your business for no cost. No cost, Ian Zander. No cost. 100%. Mm-hmm. Uh, visit freeprocessingnow.com or call 855-600-2437, extension 999, and start saving money today. It's Car Con Carne. Let's eat in the car. It's Car Con Carne. So yes, Factory, you are a band from Rockford. You made the sojourn to Chicago's northwest side. You know, it's funny. Rockford, really, not that far away from Chicago. But for people who live in Rockford, people who live in Chicago, it seems like it's light years away. It, like, it's it's not a common trip that either takes, I don't think. It's actually just an hour and a half drive. You don't really have to worry about the right. distance. And two of our band members live in Chicago and one right outside. So every practice we have is the same trick back and forth you know so we should do a quick roll quick roll call you are ian yep brennan is yeah. in the back seat now brennan and ian this is something that you both started yes yeah you, you met at a party yeah, yeah we I did meet at a party <laughs> I, I met at a party um well I, we ran into each other they had guitars him and another one of our old bandmates yeah, and uh they asked if i had any pop sensibilities and they <laughs> we were all drunk at the same time we played some music and uh i didn't but I, they let me join anyways, and we started writing really cool songs that I give them all the credit for, and I just am happy to be a part of it. And also in the car, uh, let's see, we have Hannah yeah. right behind me. Now, Hannah's Hello. a little shorter, so... I am. Uh, if, I'll kind of just... For the purposes of video, can you, like, yeah. wave or something? Hi. There you go. Okay, there thank you. Are. And uh, sitting in the middle, and this is this, like, flying coach on Delta, horrible seating <laughs> arrangement back there. Uh, Kellen is there. With what, what? What is on your lap? Not the first time is, I've ever asked that question, by the way. This is my Cajon Delilah. <laughs> I, I named it. <laughs> or is that a brand name? She's can really I, pretty. Can I touch Delilah? So, yeah. so what is a Cajon? I, I like her. Um, <laughs> just a percussion instrument. Uh, really good for acoustic kind of shows. So. Which is what we're doing in a car. Yes. It's okay. Fancy <laughs> box. It is a fancy box. Named Delilah. It can like. Hit it. Can you do something with it right now? Does Delilah like it? If you had two of them, you could have cojones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to talk about the EP, the, the recent EP. I want to talk more about you guys and girls. Uh, I want to order food from Superdog, but I also want you to play because I know it's incredibly awkward to be sitting in this car with the gear position the way you have it. Uh, where are you going to play? <coughs> we are going to do one from the record we have coming out soon. And we are also doing one that we are in the middle of our pre-production with writing and um, going to be recording. So you're doing two songs? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Okay. <coughs> so none of these two songs are on the current EP? Nope. They are in the can and ready to be released soon. I love this. So they are... So I have no idea what to expect here. The time you're going to hear them in this form and probably mm-hmm. the last. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, a, a savvier band might have practiced in a car before doing this. We don't really pra- practice at all. We just write it and then forget about it, and then when somebody says, come do something, we... Makes sense. Hey, we'll just do that song we did a long time ago. <laughs> All right, so what's the first song you're going to do? Yeah, when do you want to do first? Um, mm-hmm. I think we can do a Brennan Brennan original. He okay. started this mm-hmm. one up, uh, what, six months ago? Less than that. That was probably like... This is a pretty new... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. It was sometime this year. It's been a weird year. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about well, it. How about the name? The name is You Never Finish What You Start. 
it's just a tagline in the chorus. All right, and it, you joked about not being able to write a hook. I mean, you write this band writes great hooks, really catchy <laughs> songs. Thank like, you. I am excited to hear this. It is Yes Factory. We are live in the Superdog parking lot, which is awesome. And none, have, none of you have been here before, right? No, no. It's the first time. Oh, this... I work like ten minutes away too. I've never been here. <laughs> so you're, you're at least familiar with the sign and the the hot dogs on the roof. Yeah. It, yep. Kind of iconic, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fitting for Chicago. One hundred percent. Okay, it's Yes Factory <laughs> Live. I'm going to turn my microphone down, and you're going to do your thing. I'm going to try to mix this on the fly. It's going to be a glorious, glorious, chaotic my thing. Make sure asleep. I'm going to position my. <laughs> 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 All right. Perfect. You don't have thoughts of your own. 
dreams They will launch your sleep Wide awake, drift away into darkness Wow! Those harmonies, and oh my god, Brennan and Hannah, the, the two of you were almost competing. Like it was like a, a voice off going be, going on in the back seat. Yeah, the, yeah. My favorite part of that song is when that orchestrated kind of mm-hmm. choir flies out of nowhere with like raising. I don't know. I just feel like there's energy to it. And, well, yeah. the, the song builds momentum, and I, I love songs that do that. That's a really cool song. Thank you. Thank so, you. so don't discard that one. Definitely include it's that definitely one. Definitely one of our favorites. I For think. Sure. Uh, can we talk a little bit about the EP, or should I save that since sure. we're playing new stuff? You can, if you it like. seems out of context. So I'll oh. talk about it over hot dogs. How about that? That's cool. Awesome. Does everybody eat hot dogs in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, as long as they're vegan. Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you're killing me. Eating free, hold the ketchup. One thing I'm learning no learning problems. about Ian, just out of the gate, you are just bone dry, <laughs> humor wise. Yes. Me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We would all agree with that. Okay. He's Thank you. He's super punny. Thank you. Uh, you like dad jokes? Oh, man, we can go all night. I do. Oh yeah, good. You want to hear one, or do you want to tell me one? No, I'm just a, just a, an aesthetic thing. Do you enjoy them? I uh, love them. I love them too. I think they're fantastic. I don't want to live in a world where puns aren't cool. Right. I still want to live. <laughs> 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 it's okay. You can take the puns away. I'm fine with that. <laughs> all right. Next song. You're doing you're doing two songs. That was amazing. Um, what is the what's the name of this? Give give me some context. Um, the I was writing this song over the last probably seven years and there's this real weird beat I couldn't get anybody to kind of grab onto and I was thinking about it while I was using the restroom at a bar and that's where all the great inspiration comes from right there's a karaoke song going on there's a contest or something and I heard this voice and I was like man that sounds way better than me and I'm gonna get out of here wipe up and I'm gonna find out who that voice is wait wait you went number two at a bar well I I wiped up before I left it too so it like I did that and then I got outside (laughs) <laughs> and I found Hannah, and I said, I've got this band that I'm, I'm working on, and you have the perfect voice for this song. And she said, get away from me, creep, and slap me. <laughs> and I followed her out to the parking lot, <laughs> and the rest is chloroform. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did, but she... Yeah, it's true. I don't remember a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But we recorded... Um, but here I am today, and it paid off. <laughs> recorded a great duet as far as... I think it's one of my favorite tracks, and... Um, mm-hmm. Then it was not just to do at recording. It became, can you join the band? Can you be in this for, for real How forever? many members are in the band right now? Seven. It, okay, that's what I thought. A yeah, because the twins couldn't fit. <laughs> yeah, no. Unless they leaned in into the windows. Yeah. Yeah, it's maybe too they, cold like, to do that. Up somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and those are, um, the sisters that play violin with us are unfortunately not able to be here, and neither is Sean, our bass player. But it, Due to it, conjoined twin syndrome. Yes. He was joined with the twin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the name of the song Bubble is... Gum. <laughs> this is called Someone I Love. All right, and you're taking lead on this, right? Um, It's... I don't know. I'm going to reposition myself. Maybe. Sorry for Kellen, the sleepy take seat. it away. Take it away, take Kellen. Take it away, Kellen. <laughs> <laughs> my foot's probably Yeah, my, my leg's already asleep. Yeah. All right. I think oh. this this will probably oh. work. Okay. Maybe. Oh, help. <laughs> I feel Hannah <Trap>. moving. <laughs> a seismic shift in my <laughs> lumbar area. Uh, made my space <laughs> I think this you're works. Welcome. Yeah? <laughs> All right. so hard. You ready, guys? Yep. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a...
The chimes. chimes. <laughs> I love those things. Hey, it's like we just crossed through an ethereal doorway <laughs> when I heard that sound. That was wonderful. Thanks. That was really wonderful. Thank you. Uh, the harmonies, the, I said it before about the sing-off back there, but that kind of gentle interplay the two of you just had was really delicate and lovely. Thank you. Can you, can you sing me to sleep every night? Can, can you come over? Yeah. yeah. We, we already established it's not that big of a deal to drive here from Rockford. <laughs> so. All right. So... That's Yes Factory. If you're joining us just now, that's Yes Factory. They're from Rockford. Uh, they're an independent band. They're fantastic. I'm going to let them divest themselves of their gear, and then we're going to order Superdog. We're, we're in Super the Superdog lot. We're going to eat hot dogs and fries, as God intended, and uh, we're going to talk more about the band. Thank you for watching, and if you are watching on Facebook Live, uh, stick around. We'll be back in like 10 minutes or so. I'm going to turn this off. Woo! Woo! Woo oh, and this is also brought to us by CNH Financial Services. You're looking, you're looking good. Oh, it is backwards, isn't it? Uh, oh, that's what was screwing me up. I'm like, why am, why, why is it saying I'm over here? I'm right here. <laughs> uh, so look at this. It's Yes Factory, who just performed in the car. If, you, if you're watching this on Facebook Live, you may have just seen the performance. If you haven't, go back and watch it. Carol Quincarney presented by CNH Financial Services. Business owners, are you tired of your hard-earned profits going toward paying expensive fees every time your customer pays with a credit or debit card? We're happy to announce that our partners at CNH Financial Services has the solution. CNH is the fastest growing financial services company in Illinois, as recognized by Inc. Magazine, and their patented technology allows you to eliminate 100% of the fees associated with accepting credit and debit cards as a form of payment. That's right, Brennan. 100% of the fees. 100%. That's what I'm saying, Hannah. The CNH will also upgrade your business to the industry's leading point of sale system to streamline every aspect of your business for no cost. That's right, Yes Factory, no cost. Visit freeprocessingnow.com or call 855 600 2437 extension 999 and start saving money today. Just checking to make sure this works. It does. Yes Factory, you have performed, you have earned the right to eat. And to make everything simple, I got us all. Super dog. So we're yeah. at Super Dog. Super. No one in the band has been here before. We've never had a Super Dog. Now, in fairness, a lot of you are from Rockford. It's not oh, they're exactly... not messing around with these hot dogs. Oh, they oh. pack them in. Uh, not exactly a neighborhood haunt for you guys. This is an iconic Chicago location. You see the two hot dogs on the roof. Those are the effigies of the people who found Super Dog. Oh, Maury perfect. and Flory. I think they. This place was discovered. Did they like this? Was it? Did they look like that? They look just like just like anthropomorphic hot dogs. Yes. Wow. 
I've never seen humans that look like that before. It's true. So they but it, it's, it's a lovely story. Like, they, after, I think, World War II, they opened up this hot dog joint, and it just grew to be what it is. And hold that up. That's so... They truly it's, it's pack insane. these hot dogs in. It's, it's like joy. It is like, it, it, not like joy, it is joy. I did a little research on this place before I came here, and I've heard that they've been using the same fry oil since World War II. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's where all the rich flavor comes from. I'm not kidding. They just strain it, and they filter it, and then they put it back in the thing. Heard it's from it the bolts flavor. of the guns themselves. Mm -hmm. So, for ease, I got us all super dogs, but they have... It tastes rusty. Their menu stuff is great. They've got um, a Polish here. Spicy called the Whipsky Dog, which is fantastic. Their burgers are really good. But this is just a straight-up hot dog. I, I got us all sport peppers. I hope that doesn't bother I anybody. Love, I love yep. the okay. This is how it's supposed to be. This, this is how it's... That's right, yeah, Hannah. This the, is how it's supposed to be. With the pickle on it's top. Not, oh, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. If it's not exactly like this from now on, it's crap. Mm -hmm. Well I'm said, I'm going to chew straight into the mic because I heard people get paid to do that. I do. On, on the oh, what, what's it called? It AMSR? Is that YouTube. right? Yeah, something like that. I don't get any of that. I, I don't understand it I either. But You'll get YouTube? I mean... Is that like a... People, no, MSR? People like... Is that when your jaw locks up? <laughs> That's exactly what? what it is. No, it's like people making soft noises. ambient noises on microphone and they're supposed to bring Soothe you some... S yeah, some sense of peace. You're supposed to get some like satisfaction out of listening to people chew, which I find repulsing, but... I think that's ridiculous. To me, yeah, I mean... This may not be the podcast for you then. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just not cool. All right, so uh, for people who may not have seen the performance earlier... Yes Factory is about three years old, from Rockford. Uh, you met an online classified. It was love at first sight between Brennan and Ian. It was. Well, mm. I actually met uh, Brandon, the guy that I was playing with, when we went to that party. Talk on the mic. Oh, yeah. I actually met Brandon, the guy that I was playing with, when I met Ian on Craigslist. We met up at a bar, and we started playing music. Did you meet Brandon on Craigslist? I did. You is actually it, is, did meet that Brandon on Craigslist? Oh, wow. No, I, I actually met Brandon on Craigslist. I was, I'm going to think, yeah. it, it's hard, I've got to think, it's hard enough meeting a person for a relationship in a bar, at a party, and decide, oh, we should hang out together. Finding someone who's musically compatible, that, that's, it seems to me, I, I don't play, but it seems like a needle in a haystack sort of thing. It really find, is. Yes, it really is. It really, really is. I don't think Brennan was looking for music on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> looking for a bear. Brandon bones. and I didn't just play music. <laughs> you can find time. plenty of really Maybe talented musicians games. that um, you have really good chemistry with, um, but finding people that have the same drive is something completely different. Totally. It's super hard to find people that are serious musicians that, you know, want to make it. Oh, for sure. We haven't found any yet. Yeah. Um, uh, those people are not us. Yeah, <laughs> we're looking for them, though. I just pretend mm -hmm. to know. Join Yes Factory. 30 Everything. of us can't be bad. Yeah. So the EP came out end of last year. <laughs> Uh, it starts with Do You Know. Now, here's a, Can we talk about some of the songs? Yeah, yeah sure. Let's mm -hmm. do it. Uh, it. It kind of s stops like 90 seconds in. I thought, oh, cool, it's a Guided by Voices song. But then it keeps going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it was kind of a last-second uh, decision. Um, or was it? I actually don't remember. That, no, that, that, EP, that EP came together so quick. That was actually your idea, Ian, well, I think. We were recording. Mm -hmm. We recorded in our... Um, in Brennan's uh, practice area, all the songs that we did on the EP, and we would just go down the rabbit hole of not being produced and just producing each other and seeing what we could throw at the wall and see what sticks. And I had this hard on for like making stops but abrupt and come back in and like really ab abruptly make you throw your drink into your lap if you were driving and listening mm -hmm. to the music, stuff like that. And for some reason. It able was able to get through the recording process and stayed. Yeah, which I'm very Ron happy about. I've made many a wet lap with that song. Yeah, you'll hear a lot of that start stopping. A, actually, a lot of tell me more songs. about your wet lap. Will, will you please, Ian? Yeah, elaborate, I, Ian, please. I actually recorded. I was that talking song. about the sodas in the car, guys. <laughs> oh my god! I actually recorded that song all while watching a Bollywood movie. Actually, two <laughs> Bollywood. Is that movies. true? Yeah. It's true. I walked in on them doing it. Yeah, they were doing their takes and. The guy that was doing the engineering was just like jamming. I could see his head in the window, and Brennan was playing this guitar. And I looked through the window, and there's like the end of this super colorful Bollywood movie, just everybody dancing with the sound off. <laughs> yeah, we were there's playing. There's no sound. There's kind no of matched captions. up in rhythm sometimes, too, when they're all like dancing around. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> when those Bollywooders are all guys are so full. cutting a rug. You need napkins, by the way? Oh, yeah. I haven't even made it to the hot dog yet. It's buried under so many French fries. I know. Anybody else needs them? This is a good pickle. 
Mm. At least it's in a box. I know some places out here in the city, they uh, they just kind of wrap it all together. Like and butcher paper? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They hold your hand out and they slop it down. Yep. Smack well, you in the face with ketchup hands. Hey, how are these get onions here. green? Would you eat green onions in a box? Yes. Would you eat them with a fox? Yep. I would eat them <laughs> with, with eat bagels them and locks. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> I would eat them here or there. I would eat them anywhere. That's what, this is why kids love the podcast. Snooches. <laughs> I would eat them with Donald Trump's hair. <laughs> so the EP, it's funny you mentioned well, the Bollywood thing. Be crunchy. And whether it's intentional or not, I hear so many, there, there's something very comfortable and familiar about the sound of the Yes Factory album. But by the same token, there are so many different sounds and styles going into it. It's like this interesting synthesis of comfortable sounds. It, it, you made your own sound. I mean, even when I hear you do the harmonies in the back seat and the, the way you build momentum and stuff, it's a really cool thing that you put together. And I, I can't pinpoint it to one like common thread that's awesome yeah i mean Dude, the only common thing is that really we say yes say thank you yeah i just <laughs> yeah. kind of make noises that sound good with ian and these guys uh-huh. like I, let's be honest on the ep it's another example I, there are a lot of different styles i think that contribute to that song a lot of different sounds and vibes mm-hmm. that one in particular i was like i it was like i actually wrote that song in 2017 before i brought it to the band and i was watching a lot of grease and listening to a lot of strokes, and I was, I was, um, two I was fairly boop- disparate things. I was pooping, and it, it came to me, and I was like, "Wow, I should record this before I forget it." It is gonna be honest. And that was, and that was <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's almost like a summer-friendly hook on that song. I really mm-hmm. do enjoy that. I My, was flying at a guitar, like flying to a guitar, the second I heard Brennan playing this for the first time, and he brought. We recorded this in my living room, and, um. We didn't have, I didn't have my guitar with me, but we waited until we got to our studio. And I think that was the most inspirational song that we've we've written in this process that made me want to actually throw a solo in because I'm not a soloist and I don't play solos at all, pretty much. It's just like it's some cool songs solo. call for the style and he was really good at translating that style into, I mean, articulating what was in his head apparently. But I, I got it. It was like very on the same page and it, I don't know. It seems, it seems rough and wacky and telecastery, and mm-hmm. but still doo wobby. The first song I heard from you was "Radio Waves," <laughs> which <laughs> is the one that has stuck with me. Yeah. Uh, explain the explain the chorus. <clears throat> um, that song in general. Uh, okay, well, the song in general is mostly I was high. I was still living in my parents' basement. And uh, I was really high all the time, and uh, I thought that I'd put together a pop song that was making fun of pop songs. So I was like, how catchy can I make something sound while completely trying to bury sarcasm so that people don't actually pick it up? So that I know <laughs> it, at least. But the the lyrics are like, got a good one under the sun, hear the sound reflect in your headset, what's the problem? It's kind of it's kind of cheeky. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's really... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really all it is. It's just kind of being like, haha, I gotta... Chorus that was really high. One of the things cool I like, move 2016, Brennan. <laughs> one of the things I like about that song, and again, this this speaks to the benefit of multiple listens to Yes Factory. Towards the end of the song, there's a, a layered guitar under the chorus that I didn't hear in the earlier choruses on the song. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. That thin Lizzy uh, yes, it, thing. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah that's exactly that's actually exactly. trumpets. No. Hmm? No, I'm, I'm actually, no, why, why do I listen to him? Why do I listen? <laughs> why do you give away all my jokes, man? <laughs> you give them all away. No, it's not really a joke. We um, layered all kinds of synth sounds to make that happen with vocoders, and we blended the guitars with those things to make this weird, giant, symphonic... Are you talking about the, 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 the chorus or the or the end? The it's like a whole bunch of guitars all on top of each other. It's a, it's a great song. song. Keyboard um, well, mode we're using on that track as well. Mm-hmm. And I think those tones are what make those kinds of frequencies generate and sound like weird. Mm-hmm. You know, like a sticking out from the song. Or, we do that with song. a lot of our stuff. <clears throat> Stack it on top of each other. And yeah. Blend it on in there. Makes it sound really alien. Alien? Yeah, like, just like, like uh, out of this world. <laughs> like Stupid. the movie Alien? <laughs> <laughs> Like, no. You guys, I haven't even made it to my hot dog yet. I ate my whole hot dog in like two bites. Yeah, I'm, I guess it's really, really good. I really dug beneath the fries. He ate all of it. I thought it was really good. Maybe it's just because I'm talking more than you guys? 
Probably. I, I'm like, <laughs> I still have a full hot dog to go. What do you think, guys? Did you guys it's smash all that? I smashed yeah. this dog. Hannah, what do you really think? Really good hot this dog. dog. Yeah. I'm surprised that they're not the sponsor for tonight. I don't know, right? I'm always I'd like to sponsors. talk about them for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, they give you 100%. I'm going to do my darndest to serve every item. Wow. Every time. To every customer in a matter to make you want to return and bring your friends with you. It's like the Green Lantern Oath. Buy Superdog. Mm-hmm. At Superdog, I endorse it. POS Brennan Ryder, Yes Factory, please give us free food. Thank you. I would love to be sponsored by a restaurant. <laughs> My Laser Quest team was sponsored by a pizza place. What pizza place? Giordano's. Nice. Duh, that's right next be better to it. if it was Luminati's. Just saying. Mm, well, that's the Chicago girl back there. For the mm-hmm. longest time, I, I thought it was Illuminati's. And I didn't want to eat there because <laughs> I was afraid. <laughs> Do you have to become like a mason or There's something to walk in the door? I have to like place tattoo within. my arm. <laughs> within that pizza Go in the place. back door. They put a blindfold pizza over game. my head. <laughs> We've got Lu- Illuminati's. The pizza masons. <laughs> Just the pizza. Everyone coming to your table is dressed in cloaks. <laughs> All hail the deep dish. <laughs> uh, I Thin like crust. Sausage also sponsored by Illuminati's. Buy us food. I had I had Illuminati's for uh, New, Year's, New Year's Eve. That was my big... Uh, Yum. Celebra- celebratory New Year's Eve meal. There's so much, though. I feel like I get into like one or two bites, and I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, two, it for me. Yeah, I don't have that problem. I'm on the floor. Nope, I can't. <laughs> have you ever played in a band before? Me? Mm-hmm. No. I'm a radio DJ. You wanna? want to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point, anyone can join, right? Yeah, right. You have seven members, and you're not going <laughs> to yeah. notice an eighth. Uh, you don't just, have to play an instrument. You just shake a tambourine. Yeah, and, just hang out. Oh, my God, I just made a bunch of tambourine people really upset with that comment. <laughs> that's right. What do you mean it's not an instrument? <laughs> it's totally Come on, triangulars. Let's go. <laughs> Electric yeah. triangle. I want a triangle that I can plug into an amp. A uh, kazoo I can plug into an amp will oh, be really yeah. cool. With right, so I'm not even going to turn this into a question. I, I do want to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Kellen is Robin Zander of Cheap Tricks' son. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> it is true. Yeah, it, is, it is true. So I, I, you know, they called it illegitimate, but I call it totally legitimate. Totally legit. Oh, yeah. Too legit. But I feel if there's anything vaguely journalistic about this podcast, I just wanted to acknowledge that Kellen is his son. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's me. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rockford <laughs> legend. So, he's a tell us, Kellen, a drummer. <laughs> how is it like to... Uh, hang out with Cheap Trick. It is insane growing up as a little kid, <laughs> hanging out with him. It would be insane to grow up as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> right. See, I just started out like 40. <laughs> I grew Kellen up from there. Benjamin Button I'm actually 200 right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's just another another name to add to your list yep. of names, Kellen. Um, Kellen's got a very long name. I do. Uh, yeah. It's, um... Kellen Price Snowden. Yeah, oh, but it's Kellen, actually longer than that. Kellen, yeah, it's Kellen Price, Snowden, it's Hel- Benatar, on, Xander, hmm. uh, it's it's Helen Kellen. The Price, is, the price right. is right. Slap your mama on the ass. Snowden. Snowden. Xander. Xander. <laughs> Xander. <laughs> Xander Snowden. <laughs> so, so, so who Kellen. Else is getting in your car? Uh, Kellen, if it's after. not beef, I don't like it. Snowden. <laughs> oh, wait, this is delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, is. this hot dog is it was, so, yeah. so good. But all right, let me ask you a music industry question. Different from the days, say, when Cheap Trick was getting signed or hustling through the music industry, okay. the rules are so different. As an independent band, from marketing yourself, getting awareness, getting gigs, there are challenges. So what oh, do you yeah. as an independent band, like trying to carve its own path and not lean on Kellen's DNA, What do you? how do you <laughs> navigate the music business? It's all about making the right plays with limited funds. It's super mm-hmm. hard. I really don't have it figured out. Otherwise, we'd <laughs> we'd, uh, we'd, I'm, we'd be doing really well. I don't want to give it away, but I got a secret plan. Yeah. I've invented, but you're gonna give it away, aren't you? I will, just for you listeners today. <laughs> I've invented something that beats anything Cheap Tricks ever beat and yeah. made. What I, is it? I made a 13-string bass. There it is. Wow. And that's yeah, how well. we're going to put ourselves in the map, guys. <laughs> I didn't, didn't want to tell you until you gave tonight. gave me an idea. What about a 14-string bass? Oh. <gasps> there it is. Wow. Mind blown. This is going to be the best prog rock outfit ever. <laughs> what you got to do is you got to invent. 14 strings. 
the point, the point be a lot is going though, on. you do have to be inventive in this day mm -hmm. because the the ocean is huge in music. There's so many you people have to stand yes. making great music yeah. and can record mm -hmm. it by themselves. And everybody loves to make music. And then there's on the other side of that people that don't want to buy it. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they still like it. Mm. And, and it's, that's a hard balance to sell something that's worthless. Yeah, it's shifted quite a bit. It is. Spotify <laughs> in particular, too, like, is really kind of... Yeah. But hasn't vinyl, yeah. with with vinyl being popular again, and yeah. available... Yeah, thank at, God for that. And yeah. all the, yes. like, I love vinyl. Your, your fans can vinyl. actually have something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love buying vinyl. I don't remember what the statistic was on it, but I know that most most people are consuming music in that manner, which is really cool. I think that it's because in vinyl you get not just I, there's so many crazy things going on vinyl you can get vinyl with blood in it from the creator you yeah. can get like the, like the Friday 13th vinyl yeah, it, makes, it makes it like a thing Look at, and you can touch it's it in, yeah you can yeah, touch it's, it you can smell it you can put it down you can smell it, smell it. Throw it like a you can make it smell like something in fact some bands do make it smell like something can we as make our smell like fruity as it scratches through it's a scratch of awesome. vinyl there was a so band cool. that sold a vinyl that was broken in half and came in a sleeve that was folded in half. You couldn't play and listen to it. It was just that was the aesthetic Sorry, of the, the record. Sorry, I'm adjusting. It's all yeah. good. It, but for a fan, for someone who's all in for Yes Factory or any band, it, that's a great way to support the band. I mean, it's just oh, yeah. that's mm -hmm. that's like a vote of support. Like I'm gonna give my 25 bucks, and that that just proves that I'm a super mm -hmm. fan. Merch, merch is definitely it's a big one. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest one. And what does merch mean these days? Merch it could be sales. their Patreon, where you yeah, see a little more something. skin if you just give a couple more bucks. And mm -hmm. I gotta roll my yep. pants all the way up to my knees. Exactly. <laughs> Show you my ankles. Keep, keep that money take rolling his in. Shirt off. You know, we do what we gotta do. Sometimes. See, I, I had tons of records back in the day, and then in the '90s, I've told the story before, but I donated them all. There was a what? a big thing mm -hmm. in the area. A, a research group or a research group a not for profit raising money for ALS research and they did this big oh, outdoor awesome. music thing and I thought oh, well no one's making records anymore I have all these CDs I'll just donate all my records I'm tired of moving them from apartment to apartment then vinyl came back I felt very bad yeah <laughs> I felt badly about it but now I'm collecting it again and there's something to be said for when you listen to a record as opposed to streaming or listening to a playlist you're locked into that band for at least 20 minutes yes. a throw. You're not going to get up. You're not going to move the needle to different songs. You're, the, the great songs, the shitty songs, whatever's on that side, you are locked into that band's vision for you know, 17, 20 minutes yeah. at a time. There's something to be said for that. Yeah. It's, it's like I watching agree. a movie. It's like an experience. You know? Yes. It is. Yeah, but if you can't you know, be bothered to fast forward a movie from the scenes that you like and then take I mean, isn't that weird? What that kind of monster does that, though? <laughs> I, know. I don't know. Well, what kind of monster really makes a record? strange people. Listen to my vision, he says. He puts it in a box. You can't change the needle, he says. What a monster. It's what, what is holding someone me? hostage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think you're great. I you're, like it. I'm just trying Control. to show you the right way to not... <laughs> Hold Show a musical the, gun to people's head. Show me the path. I mean, if that's what we gotta yeah. do. There's some people that scratched records and didn't use them for their intended purposes at all, at all. And those people bred the modern polka age. So yes, factory. It's 2020. We're here at the onset of the year. Uh, what do we have to look forward to from you? Obviously, an album. Uh, we have an album coming out. Yes. Uh, we are going to be going to the UK to record, yeah. Uh, Two albums. Uh, an EP, five-song EP up in Leeds at the Nave, this it's cool little converted church. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited. It will be a lot of fun. Yeah. And we're going to finish recording that at uh, my house. In, uh, in smell of vision Which is in like a church. Yeah, kind mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. Church of rock. <laughs> Hard knocks. Uh -huh. and lots of sex. What? <laughs> yes. Not with me. With <laughs> no, 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 not my, with my me. Parents, I mean, my parents. My parents are room my roommates. <laughs> <laughs> We'd pull an accident as a child. Oh, God. This is generally where I wrap these things up. Um, so, <laughs> so you can record. Uh, what about live? How do we see you live? Okay. Um, at Monks on the 10th. We Monks in the Wisconsin Dells. Show so at the Wisconsin Dells. And after we get back from the UK, uh, we'll be heading to... What Vegas for a show and then a yeah, probably we'll LA going for out a show, but then when we get back west from there, week. June we're gonna hit Chicago as hard as we can, good. and hopefully it comes back. Good, mm -hmm. good, good, good. Keep on making those trips up here or down here. I want to around here, around here, this way, over in, by there, in here, <laughs> in here, around there, up there, around right. here. Well, yes, factory. <laughs> we had never met before. You courageously brought gear. You performed in the car. You ate hot dogs with me. I really appreciate it. I hope this was fun for you. It's been a yeah, great experience. This Thank is the you. best dinner I've had in months. Thank you so much. <laughs>
I, I can't tell if you're sarcastic because I think I'm it not actually kidding. was the best. No, I think it, it, it really was. Good. Hot dog. You don't understand. Like, I'm gonna have to drive out here. I and hated get this hot dog because it's so good. Or I'm gonna, gonna since I work ten minutes away, have to uh, bring them good. to the band. <laughs> and interestingly, I, I believe there's <gasps> my hot dog yeah. box filled up again with another hot dog. Wow. Uh, one of the. Uh, <laughs> Brand new Illinois dispensaries, I think, is right around the corner. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, oh. Sunnyside. Maybe what do they dispense? Uh, marijuana. Finally. Mm-hmm. What's it called? I don't know. What is it called, Hannah? You know? Um, are you talking yeah, out country. here in Rockford? Yeah, no, I think there's one like right over on Milwaukee Avenue. I don't here. remember the name. I have yet to hit actually any of them yet. Give me your void card dispensary. <laughs> yeah, the trade. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, Guest Factory. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Kirkland Carney is sponsored this week by CNH Financial Services. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, thank you. If you're listening, thank you for that as well. Uh, and if you like this, please, by all means, tell a friend.